it's small baby steps. I like that. I love yeah. buying the small little houses, buying one or two a month rather than a whole great big thing every year. I know that you focus now heavily, you have done for years on mm -hmm. buying a house, renovating it, refinancing it, and you're still refinancing properties now. You bought 15 years ago and you're pulling money out of them yep. as well as the ones you bought last yep. year and the year before yep. that and what have you. Um, so do you ever actually plan to pay any of their mortgages down? I haven't got a plan to do it now, but I know that I could flick that switch and do it at any point. The reason I don't is just maths. You know I'm buying every month. Mm. If I try and buy a house, I've not bought quite so many. One, stock's a bit... Um, short and secondly I've been doing some other things we've bought some other lettings businesses and I've built my own house but it's been a temporary sort of six month stop I tend to buy one or two houses a month that's the plan um, so every time I do that I take on more mortgages more debt more debt more debt why would I be you know taking on more debt over here and paying it down there just mathematically it doesn't make sense taking out a loan costs money paying it back costs money I've got a quite True. a low loan to value at the moment do you know what? I think I'm slightly below 50% okay. which is um, not the plan but it's because I pay down some of the commercial stuff. Um, I, I feel like I need to go up a bit. I've got a fighting fund, like a, a war chest, to go and buy some houses. We're buying a lot of houses in the next year. I just know we will do. Sure. And, and you know that I've been doing We've some refinancing. We've done a lot of talking mm. about refinances in the last four right. months. I know a lot of our clients are buying a lot of houses right now. Yeah, I mean, it, now's, now's yeah. the time. I mean, now feels like 2009, 10 and 11. Yeah. yeah, we had nine. It's not quite as not quite as pronounced and severe, but the number of opportunities in the areas we're looking at is probably maybe we're better at finding them. But house prices came down consecutively month and month and month for about nine months. And I think now for the last three months they've been going up. Now, we're, we're off again. That's it. We're yeah. off. Like if you don't know that, that's now. <laughs> so the data yeah. is always behind. It's always, always behind. What yeah. you know when you're yeah. out on the street. Yeah, yeah. People, yeah. people say, what recession? That. that that just happened. Yeah. That just happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And people, well, I didn't notice. Of course you didn't course, notice. It's you, happening. You, you, you didn't notice when it was happening. You only know, noticed after. Yeah, you've yeah. still got a job. A, a mm. recession hardly affects anybody. It, it goes... I mean, I've got to be sensitive there. Of course, if you're watching this and you've lost your job or something terrible, and we know that's mm. happening, yeah. then it ha it's very real for you. But if a, if an economy shrinks back by 2%, or well, even that, then there's a few people out there that their whole life was turned upside down but the vast, vast majority just carry on and go, what recession? What recession? True. But that's what we're talking about. And house prices coming down and then going back up is the way you take advantage of that. What's your portfolio like then? If you look at it, what property type? Sort mm. of percentage of single lets, HMOs, commercial stuff? What, what if you had to break most, it all down? single lets. Family single lets. Two and three bed. Two and three bed. Terraced houses. Terraced, yeah. semis, detached, whether they're Victorians or, you know, a bit earlier. Interestingly, and I had a comment the other day, I only buy newer houses because they get less problems. Mm. You can get just as many problems in the 70s or 80s, 1970s, yeah. 80s, 90s, early 2000s house. You yeah, know. so like the old, um, I only buy three beds because yeah, the tenants stay longer. It's, stay longer. it's no, a no, myth, no, massive no, myth. A complete myth, yeah. yeah. So, so yeah, mainly single lets, a bit of commercial, which was always an accident. It was the stuff we traded from or it came with. I've got some, like, the block of flats came with a shop underneath, mm. for example, got a couple of those situations. you got HMOs? Uh, got some HMOs, yeah, yeah, which they're really useful actually. They keep your earnings loan rent cover up. So as soon as you get over, was it five, six, you become a portfolio landlord as soon as you get over a certain number of properties. And when you get over to be a portfolio landlord, the bank on your next property purchase, when you come to finance it, they'll look at the whole portfolio. Up until that point, it's property by property, you know. There's the property, there's the value, there's the loan, that's what the rent will be. Will the rent be enough to cover the mortgage by 125% if the pay rate's, what, six, seven percent, whatever, you know, so is it enough? And that will keep happening up to four or five properties, but as soon as it gets to six, the bank are obliged, oh, I'm not sure if it's law, it's prudential rules, I think it's, it's, they all do, to look at the entire portfolio and say, so you've got people in situations where they bought two houses in London, they bought three houses, I know you, and then when, the, when, the, when they come to the portfolio one, they look at it and they go, ooh, mm. that doesn't work because of those ones over there, they're not making enough. The guy who's feeding his house a thousand pound a month, that'd be a real drag. So um, yeah, single family, family homes, commercials, and the HMOs keep that loan cover topped up. How are you mm. getting on with the bills at the minute though, on the HMOs? It hasn't made a difference. Really? So, yeah. The bills went up, they spiked a bit, they've come back down. It's a difference to some people though. I think they need to look at the numbers carefully. One of the things that I'd really encourage, you know, our, our orbit of, of uh, the wheel of planning wheel, 
get your account sorted, get a bookkeeper, get an accountant, look at the numbers and analyze them because every house that we've got, HMO wise, I've managed to get anywhere from 25 to 50 pounds extra per room. My bills haven't gone up by much, that much. My mortgages on some of them went up a bit. On, on, on some of them, they're exactly the same. Some of them took a little hit, maybe 100 and 150 pounds a month less. Some right. More have gone up by 100, 150 pounds because we all panic, put the rent up and... Yeah, okay. Which is about leaving itself out. I say that, we, it doesn't sound like we were just profiteering on it. That was the market rent. You've got to be at the market rent. But um, yeah, HMOs seem fine. I mean, one of the big numbers in the in the whole equation was your mortgage. And that's that's changed now. So in October, November last year, if you talk about HMOs, your mortgage rate would have been 8%, 9%. And now it's back down to mm. 5, 5 and a bit. Yeah. Okay. So five, ten years time, what do you plan to be doing? Well, you'll be running the business. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I'll be sat, I don't know, ten years time, my youngest will still be 14. So I'll still be here. Yeah. I'm not, I'm, yeah, that's why the, the dream in your 20s, mm. go off and live on a party boat in Monaco, which I joke about all the time, but was a genuine dream of mine in my, in my 1920s, you know, in my late teens, early twenties, you wake up one day, very happy by the way, with a wife and kids and go, oh, yeah, that can't happen. I don't want it to happen. Of course I don't want it to happen. Mm. But it also can't happen. If you do the maths, it's like, I, I want my wife and kids with me. I say, life is gonna be, um, be what it is. I've got a nice house over there and I'm gonna have that and uh, probably still be buying houses. Um, we've got a plan now that we're growing this business, so for the landlords as a True. business. Um, you said, and it's totally true, a lettings business is... Labour intensive and labor intensive, doesn't make much money. Doesn't make much money. Yeah. And, and why do I want to run one and grow one? I don't, but we are. Why are we? Because we're not growing a normal lettings business. We decided true. not to do that. We, we are going to grow a business that does more. So the, the normal lettings business, if you look at the whole of a landlord's needs and imagine it's 360 degrees of a wheel, which we usually do in our plan, a letting agency will look after less than 90% of what a landlord needs. If we can get involved in sorting out bookkeeping, mortgages, accountancy, do all the stuff that the landlord needs and do it well, help them with all the other things, section 24 tax. We're not a tax advisor, we can't do tax advice, but we can put you in touch with the right people. Mm -hmm. We can help where, where a landlord normally gets left in the lurch by a letting agency, whether it's you know, debt collection or evictions or the stuff, the stuff that the specialist stuff. Renovations. That, Renovations is yeah. another part of it, which is um, you know, finding out, finding, fixing, renting houses, doing their things. A landlord has got more needs than the average letting agency looks after. We are looking after all those needs, which means we do more work. So it's a more interesting, more profitable business and people, the, the team are engaged in doing it. We, 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 we have a good yeah. time doing it and I'm enjoying doing it. I get up every morning trying to build that as a business. And I think that, that's a, something that I can see myself doing for the next decade or more. Maybe not quite as much as... I was up till midnight last night typing up our last board meeting reports <laughs> and just looking through stuff. And so maybe it might need to dial down so a little that bit. That answers the final question of why haven't you retired yet, which is a lot of people ask, don't they? A surprising number. And the other one, whoever asked, I mean, I can't compare myself to these people, but whoever asked Bezos. Branson or something. Yeah, Bezos. Yeah. Why, did they they, just, why aren't you? Why are you still working? Just, well, can't not. I was like, what else would you do? Yeah. I, I, I don't feel like I'll... I genuinely, I was up till midnight last night doing stuff you know what I was doing because we had a meeting yesterday mm -hmm. and, it's like, and my mind was going I couldn't have slept I enjoyed the meeting we had I had a load of good ideas I stayed up to midnight and I didn't realise It was. I thought it was about 9 o'clock it wasn't and I woke up this morning got a cup of coffee went sat straight down at the computer and started finishing some other stuff up because we're going away to do some other stuff as well I don't know I like doing it can I say go. better than that can you? I like no. doing it that's yeah. it yeah. alright yeah. cool we're at the end right well that wasn't too tough no <laughs> I was never going to be a grilling. Um, but yeah, thanks for that. Right, no right. I hope that was useful for some people. And uh, anything else? Other questions? Well, that was a genuine question that people said, you know, what, what, mm. what, what's my story? There's, there's comments on YouTube. Stick them in there. And um, any, anything that gets asked regularly or something that's just super interesting, we will make a video mm. and speak directly to that question. Um, if you're a landlord, a property investor, a want, wannabe landlord or property investor, come and meet us. Absolutely. The link's in the description. The book a discovery call. We do it on Zoom. Do it on Zoom. Um, get every question related to property that you may have answered. And um, let us help you grow. Have we said, please subscribe. Mm -hmm. Pass this on to a friend so they watch it as well. Spread ring the a, word. There's a bell you can ring in there. 
I don't know about that. So Any, anything you think, you think about. you could do extra, do all those as well. That'd be really appreciated. Thank you very much. All right. Bye for now. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.